Who will be the winner? The french fries from the McDonald's or homemade fries? Today I'm kicking off the exciting experiment, the french fry time capsule. So buckle up because for the next two weeks I'm taking you for a journey through the time. Well, sort of, here is the deal. I will be buying a portion of fries from the McDonald's but instead of indulging in them, I will be storing them for entire two weeks. <laughs> yes, you heard that right. I will be putting their shelf time to the ultimate test. But wait, as I mentioned earlier on, this is the competition time. So the French fries will be competing with my homemade fries. I'll prep them, cook them to the crispy perfection and then, you guess it, I'll store them next to the McDonald's fries. Let's start our journey and let's go to McDonald's to pick up our fries. So we are on our journey to the McDonald's which won't take long because we live not far away from the McDonald's and probably we could even walk but then I'm just scared that someone could you know like pinch the fries away from me and then my experiment would fail before it even started so yeah that's not gonna happen but the plan is basically to check the fries every single day smell them Obviously not testing, you know, not tasting them because I don't want to eat them before the experiment is finished. I just want to see if they smell, if they look differently. We shall see every single day for another two weeks. So we are at the McDonald's. Oh, I'm so excited. Buying a French fries through the drive through Hi, what can I get for you? Um, may I have the big um, portion of the fries, please? Yeah, anything else? No, that's all. Thank you very much. Great, that's been doing your job. Okay, thank you. That was quick. My first experience drive through. I know it's funny, isn't it? But hey. Hi, are you alright? Um, card, please. Okay, so where do I go? Next window. Okay, thank you. Two hours later. That's great, thank you very much. They smell good. So now we're getting home and it's time to prepare our homemade fries. I'll show you the secret. Secret tool. To cut all of them, it would take me the ages. But I've got my magic tool. Look at that! Here we have our homemade fries. As promised, they look crispy and instead of putting them into the bowl, definitely would prefer to eat them. They only stood here for an hour and they're not crispy anymore. Mm. Average taste. It's time to start our test. So let me know in the comments what you think is going to happen to the fries. Will they hold up? Will they get smelly? Will they get covered with mold? Let me know in the comments. But right now it's time to put them on the shelf and check them tomorrow. See ya later! 24 hours gone so we can call it a day one. And it's time to check our fries. 
then we decided, as you can notice, we decided to move them here into the oven, not there, because they were just too tempting for us. And obviously we need to save them, not to eat all of them. Okay, so I can't see any difference in the look. They still look the same. Shall I try them? Nah. So, smell. They smell a little bit. These are definitely better than homemade. They smell pretty bad. It is what it is. Right, time to put them back. And again, I'll see you tomorrow. Come on, come on, it's time to check our fries. Maybe they started growing. Are they still there? Let's find out. Dun, 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 dun. Well, they're still here. They don't smell very nice. This either. There is no motor then. Nothing really changed in the look. Wow. But it's only day two. So we've got a few more days to check it. We shall see. So I'll see you tomorrow. Well, for you it's just a few seconds. For me it's 24 hours. Either way, I'll see you on the day three. Oh, hello friends. Oh, nothing happened here? Well, okay, I'll see you tomorrow then. How are you doing? Oh, it's a bit lonely down there. Wait, what's that white spot on you? <gasps> oh my God, what's that? I'm sick. I'm going to die, am I? I'm going to die. No, I don't want to die. Die! Day six, here we go. Let's check our fries. I'm wondering if something happened to them. Ooh la la! Check this out. Get the focus on. Can you see? The white bits, the mold is coming on on the homemade fries. And on the french fries from the McDonald's, nothing. That's terrible. And it's only day six, few days more to go. I'm wondering if they will completely be destroyed. Well, you have to wait for the results to be finished. For you, it's just a few more minutes. For me, another few days. The whole week's gone and this is what await us. A smell. Ooh. I don't want to even touch them. Look. That one. Oh, 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 there it is. I thought that the french fries will hold on. But no, there it is. Ooh, something is growing there. Eh. Okay. I wasn't expecting that, definitely. I thought that they would look like this. It might be something contaminated, you know? Ah. Maybe drop some water from the oven or something dropped down and maybe that's why. but look yum 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 they look so tasty oh! Ew! Ew! we still got one more week to go and we'll see if they will be completely covered with the mold or no we shall see see ya later so I know this food smells a little bit. I know it's already moldy. And probably I could just throw it away. But I really want to see how bad it will go. 
so we are on the day eight it's monday and yeah it's just getting worse and worse i don't want to even touch it obviously i will wash my hands but i assume well i can see there are plenty of bacteria living here probably if we took this fry under the microscope we would be seeing so many bacteria like going around it would blow our mind but yeah definitely want to see what will happen after two weeks if the whole fries will be covered with the mold or maybe the mcdonald fries will survive a little bit more another day They definitely smell. It's really, really bad. Um, definitely can see more growth on the homemade than on the McDonald's. I think, like Martin said on the beginning, something happened. Maybe a drop of water um, went there or something because otherwise they're not too bad. And I did some digging today about the bacteria growth and the danger and basically it's um, in our case obviously we left the food out of the fridge for more than seven days right now and then um, according to the research if the food is left outside of the fridge in the temperature between four degrees and 60 degrees this is called something like a danger reserve so basically where the bacteria are multiply rapidly so they're just growing like crazy which obviously we can see this and the bacteria i'm talking about it's salmonella e coli and the one which i don't remember and i need to check is listeria monocytogenes so yeah that's a cool name but basically those bacteria can cause anything like vomiting, diarrhea, um, nausea, things like that. But there is even a bigger danger, which like I said, I'm not going to tell you this one from the top of my head because I well, never heard about this one, to be honest. But something like botulism, a potentially life-threatening illness caused by a toxin produced by a Clostridium botulinum bacteria. This is more commonly associated with improperly canned or preserved food. Symptoms include difficulty swallowing, speaking and breathing. So obviously if I was going to consume that food, well there would be a consequences to my health, which that's why I'm not going to even try it. Um, and yeah, just the smell is disgusting. So. See you later. I'm putting them back to the oven. Do I really want to open it? Do I? Probably the smell will just like kick me back. Let's do it. Whoa. 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 Day 10, here we go. Um, obviously, the homemade fries completely failed. So what I meant, they didn't really fail because this is what you expect from the food to go off if you don't store it properly and for such a long time. So really the failure here are McDonald's fries. It's just like every single one is covered in the mold. The McDonald's fries, they keep holding up. I think that one spot, which Martin already said, it's been contaminated that's why we can see some mold because everywhere here as you can see it's nothing there really oh the smell i tell you what guys it's horrible so what we decided to do cut the experiment short so it's day 10 so we're supposed to keep it for another few days but there is no way the smell um, and after me digging yesterday into the bacteria, I'm like, you know, <laughs> I don't want to carry on anymore with this one. And Martin was like, are you crazy? Probably our oven is covered with the bacteria. And Martin was saying this morning, like, I feel actually sick. And I don't know if it's because of the bacteria or what. So 
what we decided to do just finish the experiment there's no point to go even further because like I said the homemade are completely destroyed so we know what the outcome is um, yeah so that's it for this experiment all right my friends that's it for this video of this great french fry time capsule for us it was 10 days for you it's just a few minutes however we decided to cut it short it's just because of concerning about the bacteria in our oven it's just one advice for you don't try it at home because our oven really smells but don't worry right now it's all disinfected clean and ready to cook any other meals but yeah if you like this video then hit that like button and subscribe for more health and wellness tips and if you want to know which diet is the worst one then definitely watch this video